On your way home for dinner, you encounter a river. You find a wooden plank and place it across the banks, but it wobbles dangerously underfoot. Next, you try building a stone barrier in the river to live off its resources, but a flood washes the stones away, blocking water flow and causing hidden surges. Scratching your head, you wonder, is there a bridge that doesn't obstruct water, can bear weight and stays solid? Clever you! You think of an arch structure. No piers needed, just a hollow curve with forces distributed to both banks. You set up a wooden mold, stacking stones but they don't hold tight, and the bridge collapses under pressure. Undeterred, you reshape each stone into a wedge, wider at the top and narrower at the bottom, like tiny scorpions. This allows the stones to interlock tightly, squeezing together. You embed iron ties between them, using a reinforcing structure to boost stability, forming a unified stone arch. The stone's weight transfers down the curved slopes, grounding into the earth. The bridge stands rock solid, still not satisfied. You add two smaller arches on each side of the main arch, reducing the bridge's weight, sharing the load and improving flood flow. Congratulations, you've invented the Zhaozhou Bridge. Standing strong through 1-400 years of floods and earthquakes, it pioneered the open spandrel arch, earning the title World's First Bridge alongside the Great Wall as one of China's two architectural wonders.